exciting and breakthrough ways. With that, let's get started by sending it over to Craig. Good morning. Great to have you here. Well, as you can see, we've got a lot to cover. So let's get started with iOS. Together with iPhone, iOS is central to how we navigate our lives and stay connected. And now we're making it even more powerful and easier to use. Our new release is iOS 14. This year, we spent time rethinking some of the most iconic elements of the experience on iPhone. Now it all started here with a carefully considered home screen that has truly stood the test of time. Of course, over the years, we kept the fundamentals largely the same, but carefully added features like folders for organizing your apps, widgets for quick information, and personalized experiences powered by on-device intelligence that serve up just the right thing at just the right moment. It's hard to imagine iPhone without these features now. Well, that brings us to this year. We're doing more on our iPhones today than ever before, so we've rethought some of the core elements of iOS to reflect this. Let me give you a quick peek. This is gonna be amazing. Let's dig in, starting with the home screen. Today's home screen works great, but as we get more and more apps, we can end up with this, lots and lots of pages. And we tend to forget what's beyond the first couple. Wouldn't it be great if there were a way to organize all of those apps without doing a thing? Well, this year we're doing just that with something called the App Library. It's a new space at the end of your home screen pages that automatically organizes all your apps in one simple and easy to navigate view. Let me show you. Here's my home screen. Now, like you, I have muscle memory built for the first page or two, but when it comes to all of these pages, well, honestly, I've lost track of where a lot of things are. And that's where the app library comes in. You can see that all of my apps are automatically organized here. In fact, now with the app library, I actually don't need all those pages for all my apps. So we created an easy way to hide app pages. I just go into jiggle mode, tap the dots at the bottom, and check this out. I get a zoomed out view of all my app pages. I can simply tap to hide the pages I no longer need, just like that. And now with those pages hidden, app library is always just a swipe or two away. So here in app library, getting to the app I'm looking for is really easy. Up at the top, I have the search field, and I get all my apps organized from A to Z. Now over here on the upper left, I have suggestions. It uses on-device intelligence to show me the apps that I'm likely to need next. And on the right is recently added, giving me access to the apps that I've recently downloaded from the app store. And below are intelligently curated categories. So I can tap into a category like Apple Arcade and see all of my apps in that category. Well, now let's go back. You may notice that in each of these categories, the apps I use most are right here at the top level. So I can launch one of these directly with just a tap. So that's App Library. We think this is gonna make it easier than ever to get to your apps. Next, let's turn to widgets. Today, widgets help you get information at a glance, but a lot has changed since we first introduced these. Now we have Apple Watch, where we're able to surface so much information on a small screen that you wear on your wrist. Well, this year, we're taking all that we've learned to create a completely reimagined experience for widgets. To start, they're more beautiful and data rich, and we're introducing different sizes so you can choose one that best fits your needs. Let's take a look at them in iOS 14. So let's swipe over to Today View and take a look at our new widgets. They're just beautiful. And the new designs are more data rich than ever. 
And you can see they now come in a variety of sizes. So you can pick just the right level of information for each one. Now, we like these new widgets so much, we wanted to make them even more accessible. So check this out. I'm just gonna tap and hold on the weather widget and I can drag it out of today view and onto my home screen. And watch as I move it around, the apps just dance out of the way to make space for my new widget. Well, let's add a second one. I'm just gonna tap the plus here in the upper left and grab onto podcasts. I can drop it just like that. Now I'm gonna swipe over to page two here and bring back up the widget gallery. The gallery is a great place to explore widgets. Now, when I tap on one, I can actually page through all of the different sizes available, just like this. But you know, right now what I wanna do is grab this widget up top. It's a really special one. It's called the Smart Stack. I'm just gonna tap it and drop it here. With the Smart Stack, I can easily swipe through widgets to pick just the one I want for the moment. But what's really cool is that the Smart Stack can actually do this for me automatically. So in the morning, I can get my news briefing. Throughout the day, find out when I have a meeting coming up. And in the evening, I might get a summary of my activity for the day. So that's widgets on the home screen. We're excited to see how everyone will customize them in their own way. Next, we're also bringing picture in picture to iPhone. So you can access apps on your iPhone while watching video or talking on a FaceTime call. Let me show you. So here on my home screen, the smart stack is showing me the TV widget. So I can just tap to start playing a show. Now check this out. When I swipe to go home, the video automatically goes into picture in picture right over the home screen. And when I launch another app, like notes, I can keep watching. Now I can drag the picture to another part of the screen. If I wanna make it bigger, I can even pinch to zoom. And as I move between applications, it stays with me. And what's cool is I can also swipe it to the side and the audio keeps playing when it's off screen. Now, here on the home screen, I can bring it back out if I want. And I have controls to get back to full screen playback or I can just tap the X to close it. And that's picture in picture video. It's a great way to continue enjoying your video while tapping into everything else your iPhone can do for you. And that's a quick look at the updates to the core elements of iOS. We think these new features are gonna make iOS even more helpful in the moment. 